You need to get off the streets. The agency knows my secure locations, and they will be searching for us. This is the safest place I know. Can I come with you? You need to hide, till I know what's going on. Oh, it was you who called? Yes. Oh, you must be Victoria. Come on in, child. Thank you for your help. This girl is important. Take this. We will take good care of her, my son. Diana said you need that necklace. Don't lose it. Will you come back? I'll be watching. Birdie, we need to meet. Your actions precede you, my man. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta say, I admire a man with the courage to shit where he eats. I'm guessing you're in need of some information, and I just might be willing to play ball. But first, I got a favor to ask. You listening? Sweet. Well, see, this is local upstart calling himself the king of Chinatown. Not exactly the understated type. And I would really like him to hand in his resignation if you catch my drift. Now this king, he resides at the pagoda in the center of town, where a unit of dirty cops guard his every move. He rarely leaves the crowd except to meet up with his dealer in a pad overlooking the square. Uh, yeah, he's also got a swanky European ride parked in a nearby alley. And that's all I got, Holmes. So, call me back when you're done. Got it. Birdie, once the agency's top intelligence man, in order to protect the girl, I need him as my eyes and ears, but his services won't come cheap. This man is a merchant. Quid pro quo. Everything comes with a price. To recruit him, I must first take out his business rival. Official contract or not, this king of Chinatown has to die. Okay, well... He has to die. So obviously, as you see with the score now, since we're on the second level, Pierce, you got plus 150% points. And with the challenges, you get also a percentage of points as well. So we should score fairly high here. I do like this level. Uh, it's pretty easy. I'm going to do the best option here. And that is probably disguise myself as the dealer. That's what I'm going to do. I just gotta find where this. Ah, here it is, right here. Well, obviously, she's guarding that poisonous fish. And we need that, but there's also a lot of cops more on Pyrrhus, so we got to be very, very careful of what we do here. Make sure we don't buck up. Just got to wait for her to turn around. Come on.
There we go. So we got the Fuji fish. So we're gonna wait for this uh, dealer to come down and we'll disguise ourselves as him. And let everything fall into place. He should be coming down from there. Yeah, he's right there. So we're just gonna wait patiently. And uh, let things go. So we'll just hide right here. <clears throat> There's a lot of civilians on this level. I'm surprised. This game still looks really, really good, though, for it to be coming out in, like, what, 2010, 2011? I think 2012? It's around that time frame. 2011 to 2012. Where's this guy at? Come on. Oh, he's over there. Now, there's many ways to take out the... King of Chinatown, though. You can push him down a uh, uh, grate or something. Uh, you can blow up his car. You can drop some boards on him. You can simply just shoot him. You do all kinds of stuff. Uh, many, many ways to kill this King of Chinatown guy. We're going to do the stealthiest way get the most points even though I'm not really looking for the most points in every level but still Yeah, yeah, I'll be back in five. Mm. Alright, so now I'm gonna follow this guy. Make sure we don't do no stupid moves that gets us caught in the process here. But he does go down here and so we can take him out. So we'll just sneak down here sneakily. Alright. Don't want to snap his neck. That would not be good. Dump him in this one. Don't dump him in the other one because you'll get caught. <laughs> There's been times before where I've done that on accident. And I... Had to restart on the process. So now we are the dealer. So now it's up to us to take out this King of Chinatown guy. And also, the evidence is in here as well. So we'll grab the evidence while we're here and we're able to come in here, even though there's policemen and, and whatnot. I mean, you could poison. The Fuji fish, if you wanted to, uh, I think you'd be fine poisoning it since there's not a uh, caution symbol above it. Because I think if there's a caution symbol, then you have a you can potentially get caught, and then obviously that would mess everything up. Uh, but I think you can poison his fish, but you wouldn't be able to hide the body. Uh, so we're going to take him back up to our apartment, and when we get in there, we're going to poison the drugs, and I'll actually take him out. Oh, I will. Follow me, sir. Oh, that 
That's the last thing he'll ever do. This guy's a clown. Now you can go up to take out this drug dealer if you wanted to, but there's an extra cop, so you're unable to do what you need to do. So let's get up here and actually poison the drugs real quick before he gets in. And look, he has a sniper as well. So we could have sniped him if we wanted to. Come on in, I'll even open up the door. Uh, I'm doing good. I'm just here to show you the, the yayo. In this shithole? Christ. What's wrong with this? It's funny though, there's no bed. King of Chinatown. He's done. And we're able to hide the body as well. So we should have a silent assassin rating since, you know, obviously we were silent about it. Uh, you don't have to worry about a silent assassin suit only. Because uh, I think in Blood Money, for you to get silent assassin, you have to have your suit. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that on this game in particular. So we're going to go ahead and exit the level. Uh, fairly easy. I mean, you could take him out quicker if you wanted to. I mean, there's a thing down there you can take him out in. You can drop those on him as you hide back there. Uh, I mean, it's a little risky, but... Just stick with the way I do it, and you should be okay. Don't bring your mean ass to my home. I need information. Well, that's my business. Information. You need information, I find information. At a price, of course. You're damn right at a price. Of course. A girl named Victoria. The agency wants her bad. I need to know why. No, wait, 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 wait. The, the agency. You want me to snoop around the agency? Were you crazy? Yeah, you crazy. All right, what is it worth to you? Name your price. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> tools. Listen to the city. <laughs> if anyone mentions a girl, you know what to do. I'll call you. You do that. So he's just going to take our silver ballers like it's nothing? Uh, but 269,445. Uh, we got the Silent Assassin bonus. Killed the target. Had a pacification, but we did hide the body. We had a signature kill. Everything has already been found here. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's continue.